My story is still young. My journey still new. But everyone has that one special place in the world that takes them back. Back to a time when life was just beginning. When everything in life was so new, so fresh, and filled with opportunity. And New York City is that place for me. There is magic in the most ordinary of places, the most hectic of cities. There is beauty in chaos, growth in noise. It is in the most chaotic and loudest of places that we are challenged the most. It is in discomfort that we come out of things stronger. The city can alchemize the most tragic into the most powerful. New York creates warriors out of damsels. She spins gray into gold. The city may not be home, but it was your becoming. Whether or not we realize it, we all come here for transformation. Energetically, we feel pulled for radical growth. We come to this island to be realized and alchemized. And I was one of them. Awesome. New York City is a place of extremes. Extreme weather. Extreme personalities. And extreme desires. A lot of people who move to New York want fame or recognition or wealth. And at 18, that was me. Living in New York gave me the strength and clarity that I have today. It taught me resilience, fortitude, and resourcefulness. I've been homeless and scammed. I've cried on subways, questioned myself on park benches. I covered up misery with stuff. I bought costumes to make myself feel better, chased accomplishment to make people proud. I covered up insecurity with goals. We do this in many areas of our lives. We spend any leftover money because deep down we don't believe we are worthy of retaining it. We chase the love we think we deserve. I've lost myself time and time again, only to find it through hardship and error, mistakes and 99 cent pizza slices. We get ourselves into debt and show up to places that we don't want to be for fear of missing out. But isn't this the essence of life? Discovery. It is by making choices that we encounter contrast. Contrast, the compass pointing the way to our desires. Ambition, a rock that we can hold on to. Coming back to New York often scares me. Anxiety creeps in before I step on the concrete. 
But courage, true courage, is feeling fear and pushing through it anyway. It's making a decision and following through. Courage is putting yourself through discomfort to come out of it sparkling. Courage is getting it done and putting it out there instead of demanding it to be perfect. It's shooting for B minus work when you are thirsty for A's. And courage is going back to a place that you love, even though it challenges you. The smell of the city, the steady drip drop of water under the subway platforms, the noise, it induces panic. But it is in these stressful places that I break through another level. Because the truth is, you can live slowly and have inner peace anywhere, in any city, and in any country. Attaining inner peace and calm in any environment is a true sign of mastery. And I am nowhere near there yet. But the least I can do is try. The least I can do is put myself through challenge and to honor the discomfort that comes along with that. Be not afraid of heartache and do not shy away from loss. Life is a series of highs and lows, dreams attained and dreams lost. Accepting the ride and treasuring the mystery makes for an easier journey and a life filled with more fun. Don't ever doubt the callings that whisper in the crevices of your heart. Don't ever fear the risks that inevitably come with all dreams, small and simple, or glittering and grand. New York made me hard. New York made me tough. But it was in leaving New York and coming back that I've realized how much softer I've become. How my heart glows. Today, when I go back to New York, I feel appreciation. Appreciation for how New York has shaped me. I came here at 18, a naive, fearless, and scared girl, and left at 23, resilient and courageous. I realize that I don't need to be afraid of places that once caused me pain. Be not afraid of city life, of noise and mayhem, pressure and obliteration. What I love most about cities is the people. And I love cities that are melting pots. Different languages, cultures, belief systems, and approaches to life. It is through listening to other people's stories that we gain the most out of life. It is in listening to others that we gain compassion, humility, and tolerance. And for this reason alone, I love traveling. And I love visiting cities. I'm going to be really honest. I think there is a lot of pretentiousness out there around city living versus rural living. A lot of people who love the countryside scoff and roll their eyes at people that love living in the city. There's a great divide among us. And so I wish to challenge those who believe that one lifestyle is better than another to think open-mindedly. See the beauty and magic that lie in cities. There is a magic that permeates the air in urban environments, from art and culture, backgrounds and variety, convenience, kindness and camaraderie from strangers on the street. There is beauty everywhere. And just
just as there is an abundance of simple joys around us in the countryside, so are there simple joys in city life. Challenge yourself to notice them. Notice how they are there. They are in the smiles you meet, the twinkling in eyes, the friendships you tend to and cultivate, the kindness in strangers, the paintings on the sidewalks, the psychics in the village. Glittering skyscrapers and Chelsea art galleries on Saturdays. There is opportunity. The simple joys of riding the bus on rainy days. The sun brightening a dark alley. A spring blossom. A Central Park squirrel. There is beauty in every place on this earth. This is the exact spot where we met each other at Pace University. So what did you think when we first met each other? Um, I thought you were really cool. Um, what did we talk about, do you remember? Yeah, we talked about our periods. <laughs> <laughs> we were going on a kayaking trip. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. We were at floor 16 in Maria's Tower, the Green Adventures. This was all people who like nature and outdoor activity stuff and the environment. And we met on our first activity together, which was kayaking. Yeah. It was like it was like week two of school. And we met right here and <laughs> such good times. And here we are. Almost 10 years later, 2021, we met in 2020, 2012. 10 years later, almost. Yeah, crazy. Crazy! <laughs> oh my god, here we are. This was the entrance I always took to go to Maria's I Tower. Know. Did you take this entrance? But yeah. This was like the entrance I always <laughs> took. <laughs> no, this looks the same. Yeah. Wow. This is exactly the same. Candace and I have returned. Wow. That's the theater. I remember seeing several like people uh -huh. here um, get interviewed. Uh -huh. um, what was that show they used to do? That big show, the Actor Studio, or something like that? Oh yeah, inside the Actor Studio. Yeah, I used to go to that all the time when I was here. It's a little different, isn't it? Wait, yeah, there's the mail. My mailbox used to be right there. So this is the halls we used to roam. Oh, this hasn't changed. No. And they still have the Bank of America ATM machine. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the same. I'm so happy that some of it has stayed the same. It makes me sad when there's too many changes. I was very shocked and embarrassed. Why? I just would never really take out a camera in public and just, you know, lay it on a book and then have other people watch me just walk in front of a camera <laughs> and then go back just to get a 20 second clip. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the work of an artist. It's the slave, it's just a lot of hard work. It's too hard. <laughs> it's very interesting seeing the behind the scenes of how you shoot each shot and how you insert the clips and the editing process of, I've always been curious how you, you know, edit out the audio. Yeah. And how you, um, like, I've always wondered who's filming those when you're walking by yourself into a store. This. Who does that? This. This tripod. This, this tripod. <laughs> I've got the mini tripod, and then I've got a massive tripod. What's your preferred camera for? Oh. Um, this. This. Definitely. Well, I like that for like in my pocket. It's yeah. Easy to grab. Quick. This is better quality. Okay. Alright, are you ready, Dean? Are you ready to get in the shot? So, as you can see, we're filming while we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff we do for you, too. <laughs> this is for you, AdSense. <laughs> my debut on the Simple Joys channel. Thanks, guys. Welcome back to 
my channel. I appreciate it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification if you want to see more content. <laughs> I love it.